Hello everyone, welcome to Books in Block Center guys and please if you are new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon and click it and select all so enter up in your banger a new exclusive video you will definitely be notified Ion Mike Tyson has been offered the sum of one million dollars for an exhibition um against Garland Williams or Hall. I don't even I don't know who Garland is or Williams or Hall who are they but the thing is he's been offered the sum of one million dollars you know to, to do an exhibition with one of those three guys. I mean let me of course take a look at the um article right here um Melbourne 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 from Australia Melbourne boxing promoter Brian Amatura immediately got on the phone to arrange a charity bout between the 53 year old uh, Tyson and one of Australia's footballers turned boxers Barry Hall Paul Gallen Gallen or Sonny Bill Williams for one million dollars wow so the 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 the, the potential uh, opponents okay uh, my Tyson we have to fight is one of those three fo football players you know uh, ton boxes and uh, Matruda uh, as cause of course being a huge promoter in Australia in Melbourne um, saying he will uh, I mean, he's a guy. He, he, he's saying he would love to have Tyson on his show, and he does promote Anthony uh, Mudindo, Mudin, Danny Green, Lucas Brown. Wow, Lucas Brown. Okay, Sam Solina, and the upcoming uh, Air Feather Blue player, Ton Fighter Taylor Harris. I know that. I know that girl, Taylor Harris. So I couldn't tell him. He said, "I will hold it at Melbourne Arena, where we will get over." 10,000 or even uh, Prince uh, Princess Park where they got 30,000 for Jeff Finnech versus Azuma Nelson um, He might be 53 years old, but he's still a huge name and any of those blokes Paul Garland or Sonny Bill would jump at the chance to get into the ring with him I will make it part of a card with a world title 5 for Taylor on it It will be enormous not just a fight. It will be an event uh, the first thing I did was contact celebrity agent Mas, uh, Maxon and asked him to offer Tyson $1 million. Mas brought him to Australia in 2012. He gets on well with him and his wife, but the main thing is that he got a visa to get into the country back then and that's the key. We'll have to wait until the coronavirus shutdowns are over, of course, so that the fight probably wouldn't be out in early next year as long as we can get a visa they gave him one in 2012 and he was fine he's a quiet family man now he didn't cause any trouble then so why shouldn't they let him back in okay interesting like i remember when uh my tyson like i remember the the incident in australia though when he was like refused entry what do you think about this this the, i mean the, this opportunity you know coming Tyson's way like do you think Tyson want to go fight in Australia like I mean it's just an exhibition though but what do you think though um I don't know maybe this guy's trying to do it seriously because he just turned pro and he's trying to have a name like Mike Tyson on his record but one million is not enough no. no, no, it's not about Tony Pro. The guy's a promoter. You know, he, 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 his guy's a promoter. His name is Brian Matruda. He promotes the likes of Anthony Moudin, Danny Green, Lucas Brown, Sam Solina, and upcoming uh, AFL player, turn fighter, Taylor Harris. So he's trying to like, what he's trying to do is that, of course, pay my taxi $1 million and then like make it as an event even though Matasa will only will only, will only do an exhibition not a proper fight maybe for three rounds or so uh, with one of the fighters is mentioned you know uh sonny billy sonny sonny bill williams i don't i've never heard those names before i don't know them um 
um but you know australians also have a celebrity you know not everybody knows them i don't so i uh, continue but yeah but you know mike tyson is coming back for an ex exhibition fight for you know for a charity um i think you know one million is is too small and they should offer him something a little bit bigger than one million just because he's doing it for charity um and on top of that, you know, he's 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 fifty three and so so, you know, we we gotta we gotta reconsider about the dangers of the dangers of the sport. Even with the head guard on, you don't know how Mike Tyson is going to react being punched for the first time in such a long time. So, you know, that's what I I personally believe they need to offer him more money. You know, with all these factors in there, and they gotta be careful with all this with the fighting too because there's um. There's the risk factor and the dangerous part of it, but you know, all in all, it sh the fight should be a uh, entertaining fight. People want to see how Mike Tyson, re how his reflexes are, how how he reacts, and what he does in the ring. Because you know, people love Mike Tyson, and he was the uh, former former heavyweight champion champion of the uh, champion of the world. So seeing him in the ring would probably bring a lot of excitement to people. And I can't wait for it. That's where I'm going to end it. Yeah, bro. Thanks a lot. Uh, all like you, Dave. What's yeah. up, bro? What's up, bro? Yeah. What's the take on this? Yeah, I'm not going to add in. Not much to say, bro. You think the one million is too small? Like uh, Ty said? Mm, not really. Not really. Though, yeah. There's a point there as well, you know, for Tyson and that and that, but in a way, I wouldn't say it's too small for first return comeback. You know, I think Tyson's performance is what's going to determine if anymore or wherever, wherever it is, if it's going to go again, then, you know, the way he reacts the first time will tell a lot more, if anything, and stuff like that. Because obviously, the first comeback, obviously, I don't think he himself will expect that much. To be fair, for now, no, regarding what it's kind of like doing, regardless of what it's doing as well. So, um, the only thing there is looking at Tyson, looking at some training thing of him again yesterday, he shows his game back to shape and that, but the only thing there is, which is one of, gonna be one of the caution things to take off for, I think they're making him go back to the like, you know, how much of time he's going to have the Edgar done, everything on board, like, okay, what's the reaction going to be like, you know, when Tyson get hits and stuff like that and stuff. But, to so be honest, you know, it's <clears throat> it's an exhibition, right? So it's not going to be like a normal, that's why it's going to be a lot more like, you know, back in the days and the amateurs and stuff like that. So, you know, fair play, I mean, as a first comeback with the one million, well, he tried, he could do better, but at least one million at first and then that is respectful as well. You know, like, I don't think any other one will come back now and will be looking into getting a bit more than that. So it's going to be it's gonna be a fair thing too to Tyson and just look at it like, you know, a final thing for the you know, exhibition and then that. And then see where we'll go from there. But the only thing I can just look into is I believe from all those mentioned there, I think Tyson will be the oldest there. So it's going to be how Tyson can cope. And everything, but it's a good idea. I mean, Tyson has been back from the team, which we've all been saying. So, wishing the best, man. Yeah, man. Or uh, uh, one million, in my opinion. I like um, Tyson's a huge, huge name, bro. Like one million for three rounds. I don't yeah, think. You know, I don't think Flamengo. I don't. I don't think Flamengo would do that. I mean, no, if if we should if we should keep it real, uh, Tyson, Tyson is bigger than Flamengo. You know, like um, people respect uh, Tyson Fury. Uh, I mean, Tyson Fury. People <laughs> respect Mike, Mike Tyson more than uh, Flo Mayweather. That's just a fact. No, you know I mean, uh, the, the way it is this year. So I, 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 Flo Mayweather. I, 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 I'm I, like, I'm, I'm how much did he get from uh, an exhibition fight well, in Japan? Ten million. Let's, let's, let's look at it in this way. Yeah, Flo Mayweather literally retired not so long ago. Tyson has been out for a long time. All right. If you're gonna say you're bringing Floyd in to do anything again, you need to offer him something that will convince him. Yeah, because he literally retired not too long ago. 
he hasn't spent three years, four years on retirement yet. Right. So if you're going to bring him back, you need to give him a substantial offer to come back. Tyson has been out for a very long time. But it's still a huge name. He's a huge name, bro. To be it's, a ma it's not a huge name. It's a massive name. Tyson is, big, is bigger. Is, uh, it, Tyson is bigger than Andrews Jr., who, of course, just recently it, uh, got the throne. Is, if the truth is this now, yeah? Even if Andy Roy Jr. You know, were talking about that, he's going to go for anything in come form of exhibition and that. Don't let me lie to you, he cannot get offered a play million. Let's be real with it. Even um, Roy is still fighting now, he can't. Because they're going to look at it like it's an exhibition and a charity thing and that. They're going to put so many conditions on it and stuff like that. He won't get that. But I believe, you know, him looking at it, yeah, we can look at it, you know, from the outside, like oh, 1 million for Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, the whole I am Mike Tyson and that and that. But, if you decide to look at it again, number one again, no, let's be realistic again now. With the with, with the economic crunch right now, with the virus and that, and that someone that is willing to put that in. Don't forget, it's just that one million is a normal take. Where some other things are gonna come in, Tyson is still gonna get things as well. So you get what I'm saying? So we can look at it like this and that, but at this point in time now, we will we, we'll be looking into okay, I wanna pay these to see how I can get this and that and that. A lot of people look at bear promoters now. Bear promoters are not looking into just splashing money up now. Everyone is looking at, you know what, everyone is trying to look for a better rate thing they can do and stuff like that. So if he comes out with a million, we can look at it from the answer like a million for my mic is a bit too much and that and that. But with the situation, with the world situation right now, I'm not going to lie. I feel like, you know, the man Fair enough. You can do better, but at least coming out with a thing of a million first. Fair enough to him. Man. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like uh, rubbish in the guy's uh, offer, but I think it's okay. Uh, yeah. Talk about my Tyson here, though. Anyway, for those of you guys that watch right, I like you just subscribe. You guys agree with um, Brian, uh, or do you guys think you should hope that offer more? But we don't know what's gonna happen here because. Like he said, the fight might have to take place next year due to the coronavirus crisis. But people are like making these right now so that when the virus, the virus is of course over with, people can get back to making huge fights in a way. Stay blessed, guys. Stay on Christian boy. And thanks for supporting. Cheers.